So I'm Chef from Makeup or Breakup vlog, and today on this cold, gloomy, chilly day in New York City, I decided I wanted to try and have a pop of color. And it just so happens that I just got maybe the perfect remedy for the Sunday gloomy day before work going back to school blues, which is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Now, BH Cosmetics has sales and half-offs all the time. They were selling this exclusively for $10, so I took advantage of it. But if you go to the BH website, there's always a sale going on. And I have to say that most of their eyeshadow palettes have not been a disappointment. This is how it looks, similar to the packaging on the outside. This says 35 Color Pressed Pigment Palette. So this means this is not a normal, regular eyeshadow palette. This is a pressed pigment palette. And that seems to be the trend because people are demanding more vibrancy and color payoff. And the pressed pigments tend to provide that much more than the regular eyeshadow palette. But I'm just gonna open this up so you can see inside. The total net weight is 1.23 ounces or 35 grams, in case you were interested. And this is what the lovely palette looks like. All those colors, a lot of, to me, I, 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 it, wants, it, it screams to me like almost like primary Crayola crayons. You know, the 64 box, a lot of different shades of green, of yellow and blue and purple and pinks. I don't see why anybody would not have fun with this. It's so pretty. And it looks like it has even more in the bottom here. These look like highlighters. This looks like more on the green side, like for these colors. And this side looks more for these colors, which are the peachy side. And then there's a black, a dark one here that I guess you can use for these or all of these to deepen your eye look. So it gives some dimension. Taking this little cover off. And I love, of course, that BH always tries to supply a mirror. But this is so festive and so cute. Um, these are teeny tiny though. I don't know if you could see them, but they're pretty tiny. <laughs> just, just, just saying. I mean, compared to some others, I guess, I don't know. But it does pack more in there. And it's a lot easy for me to say, yes, I'll spend the $10 on this. Because I feel like I could go through this a bit faster. Because the product amount isn't as much but there's more of a selection first and foremost uh the uh this was made in the people's republic of china so just putting that in there 33 gram of 35 pressed pigments first two are mica and talc in case you were curious silica comes in like fourth with the mythicone at fifth magnesium steroid at six so and just pulling up the Take Me Back to Brazil, the first edition. Um, it's also on sale again. I got it on $10. They had like a one day only that you could get it for $10 if you buy it that day. So I was lucky to get it at that time for $10. They're currently selling it now along with the Brazil version for $14 each US. Ordinarily it'd be $20. And they do offer the after pay option as well. But again, only on orders that are total are over 35 US dollars. Look, there aren't really any true base colors unless I use this. I may have to use this. This feels more like a color corrector. I don't know why, but I'm gonna use some of this. This could be a highlighter. Let me see. No, it doesn't look like a highlighter. Oh, it kind of looks shiny in the pan, but I'm gonna use this one base. Just because I don't really have any here officially in the pan. And I think I'm going to be cheerful and go for the pinks. Just because. So I'm going to go in here with this one. Because this is BH, you don't really get a name on these colors. I don't think, I find anything this tiny. No. This is a 35 color scheme in here, so it doesn't do that. I need something bolder, so I'm going to try this one in the bottom row, first row. Ooh, 
and I'm just gonna go in oh look at that is that pretty or what I'm just feeling pink today because I need to get out of my mood you ever had those days when you're in a mood and the weather's not cooperating So far, so good. Hmm. I try the deeper pink and put that in the crease, or should I go with a yellow? I'm gonna stay away from yellows today. I'm gonna just do a, like a cherry blossom peach. Maybe I need a more concentrated brush, firmer brush here. And I'm gonna go back and use this deeper color in the second row and put that on the lid just because I can yeah I'm gonna need to put some definition in there because I am not hmm let's see if I can just do this real quick much better much better with the finger Very nice. Hmm, I like that. It's dark. <laughs> but I like that. I guess I can't help myself. I might try some of these blues. Maybe the green. Which green's close? Maybe. But you know what? Life's too short. <laughs> I'll put this up here and see what happens. Ooh, that's nice. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. I'm gonna use my fluffy brush for that and go in with the blue. I mean, with the green. This is like middle greens, second to last, deepest green right there. And I'll put that in the crease. Now there is some fallout, you see there? But I'll clean that up, no worries. I just wanna do something different just to get out of my... You know when you think you're making a connection with people and then you, it turns out that you two were totally on two different pages as to what the heck you were just talking about? That's the type of week I'm having. Maybe it's Mercury retrograde. <laughs> now I'm just using the fluffy brush for this because I, for some reason, I don't want it overly pronounced, but at the same time, I want it to show. I just don't want it to be too harsh. Hmm. I gotta clean that up. I'm gonna put this same green, or maybe this deeper one. I just wanna just put a pop of color underneath because I'm just. In case you're wondering what brush I'm using, I'm using the Sigma Small Angle Brush E65. It's my first and only brush from Sigma and this little angle one is exactly what I needed to do the job again sorry for the noise outside I just want to point this out don't dig too deeply because this stuff will come out fairly easily you don't need to dig but if you have a firmer brush, you might find a lot of kickback. Just saying. I'm thinking I'm gonna go back with a little of, maybe I'll do a little bit of this. Why not? Why not? So this is the third row top of that color, which is showing up as a mustard yellow on my end, but it looks bright on screen and it shouldn't. It's more like a mustard yellow. And lately I've been into mustard yellows just kind of you know offsets any harsh lines that I may get from the deeper greens and blues. Look at that. Reminds me of a bird. So here's my look. Um, it blends pretty well. I mean, I see the green, I see the, uh, the mustard yellow and the deep pink and the light pink that I have here. You know, it's it's a, almost like a dreamy, sultry, jungle type of feel that I'm getting from this. And I have to say, I, I don't hate it. I actually love it. I thought 
the colors would be a lot starker and a lot more Crayola like pow and maybe they do if you use a what, like a setting spray or some kind of like what's your sponge it may apply more like a crayon color but right now it feels more to me like a parakeet or a butterfly wing from the jungle of the Amazon does that make sense I think it might so seeing all these lovely colors in here I would hazard to guess that you can get more than three or four looks five six looks out of this palette and it doesn't necessarily always have to be to be going to some kind of festival but some of these colors you know can be used for day colors like these you know lighter you know pinks these greens here uh, blended with some of these yellows these I would save more for like the night although I'm loving these purples and they add dimension to the eye if you need it because this is more of a dreamy look I'm gonna see if I add one of these darker colors, what happens if it plays it up mm -hmm. some more. This baby, the one I've been using throughout for this palette, because I love the way that it picks up colors and it deposits it, and it's easily, you know, you can take it right out. I'm gonna, this is actually a sparkly type of blue. I'm gonna use this purple just to see what it does. It reminds me of those gorgeous sunsets that it's the last vestiges of light that you see and then it goes all purple before it finally disappears into deep oh look at that you see where I'm going with this right I mean look at that <gasps> and again very dreamlike I'm sure if I had a spray it would be even more dramatic but I don't want dramatic right now I want I want Miss I want misty, hot look. Oh my God. And I got that just by adding this little purple at the end. And look at that. Whoa, baby. That is not. I would say overall, if you, whether you get it for $10, $14, or you do the afterpay function, this palette is originally $20. Right now, it's currently on the VH Cosmetics website, but I don't know for how long, at $14. I got these on their uh, one-day sales that they tend to have a lot, and this was featured for $10. So I say $10 happily well spent. Do you have this palette? Let me know in the comments below, and let me know whether you think this is worth the price, and whether or not you've gotten their part two, which is the uh, Rio edition. <laughs> This is Dawn Michelle. Thank you so much for watching me. This is Makeup or Breakup Vlog. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this palette. And if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you will know when my next video will be up. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next makeup adventure. Take care. Bye-bye.